Hey everybody, I'm Matt with Halloween Daily News. Welcome to the Halloween show. It's been a crazy busy week with lots of exciting news and reveals coming out of the Halloween and Party Expo. We'll get to that in just a minute. But first, Michael Myers back in the headlines again this week with another new image, an official still from Halloween Kills released, and a new preview of the upcoming children's book, The Legend of Halloween. Check it out. Another new official image of Michael Myers in Halloween Kills was released online this week, along with new comments from director David Gordon Green. In an interview in the current issue of Empire Magazine, Green says, quote, This film is about community fear, paranoia, misinformation, and crowd panic. This movie is a great popcorn genre movie. Not really any kind of statement, but it's strange how things line up. It couldn't be a more interesting time to release a movie like this, end quote. The still released on Wednesday features Michael Myers emerging from the flames of Laurie Strode's house, which is where he was last seen in Halloween 2018. Halloween Kills is scheduled to be released on October 15th. A new page from the children's book, The Legend of Halloween, was also released this week, revealing a silver shamrock Easter egg for Halloween 3 fans. This new rhyming illustrated children's book is co-written by David Gordon Green and Unar Chikel, who also illustrated the book. It's based on the original motion picture screenplay of the classic 1978 Halloween by John Carpenter and Deborah Hill. And it looks like it will be going up for pre-order this coming week. I can't wait to get that book. And you can join us as we dissect both of those images on Michael Myers Monday Live this Monday night, 10.31 p.m. here on the HDN channel. All right, our main feature this week is a report from the Halloween and Party Expo virtual edition. It just wrapped up on Thursday, and here are some of the highlights of what we saw there, some of the exciting new products coming your way in 2021. The annual Halloween and Party Expo and HauntCon went completely virtual this year happening entirely online on January 19th, 20th, and 21st. The event is where the Halloween industry comes together to preview their new releases for the upcoming season. This year's online format did prove to be a success in still allowing the companies to present live product demos, roundtable discussions, digital showrooms, networking, and lots of virtual meetings. Some of the biggest names in the costuming business revealed their 2021 catalogs for the first time including Trigger Treat Studios, Jimmy, Ghoulish Productions, Fun World, and many more. Highlights that were presented from Trigger Treat Studios include a new lineup of six injection molded face masks, officially licensed from the 2019 Halloween horror film Haunt. There's also a newly repainted version of the young Michael Myers clown mask from Halloween 78 coming this year, and a Halloween 3 witch board, as well as a Welcome to Santa Mira sign. The Jangly Man joins the lineup of deluxe masks already released from Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark, and Trick or Treat's Universal Monsters line expands to include the Gill Man, as featured in the sequel The Creature Walks Among Us, as well as the Mole Man, The Man Who Laughs, and Werewolf of London, plus a new 15-inch deluxe Frankenstein collectible statue. New 14-inch mini animatronic figures of Freddy Krueger from A Nightmare on Elm Street, Jason Voorhees from what appears to be Friday the 13th Part 3, and Michael Myers, I believe, from the original Halloween, are back this year from Jimmy Industries. Each of these figures features battery-powered sound and movement. Bisto has been producing Halloween products for more than 120 years, and they are keeping their signature retro vibes going with officially licensed Elvira merchandise in 2021, as well as more than 40 designs that are based on their classic archives. And just when you thought there couldn't possibly be another variation of the ghost face mask, Fun World is releasing a new scorched ghost face based on the character's appearance in the Dead by Daylight video game. Ghoulish Productions previewed their new line of masks that provide a COVID-safe cloth face covering on the inside while also serving as a highly detailed costume mask on the outside. And they've got all kinds of variations coming this year. Ghoulish Productions also has some wicked new additions 
coming this year to their creepy pastas line of masks, as well as some terrifying new witches. And that's just a small taste of everything that was previewed. But keep in mind that many of this year's biggest anticipated sellers, like the new Halloween Kills Michael Myers mask from Trick or Treat Studios, as well as new products from the Saw film Spiral and the new Candyman, were not yet available to view. So expect lots more reveals to come in the next few months. You can see more from the Halloween and Party Expo virtual experience right now at HalloweenDailyNews.com. I'm Matt Arts for Halloween Daily News. Thank you for watching.